we're checking out the only game where you get to take over people's bodily functions in order to help them ruin their lives. It's make em puzzle. So yeah, as God of the Stick Figures, you can move creatures around and force them to do horrifying things. I don't know why his spit just continues to stay in the air. <laughs> oh, I think that's supposed to be his sweat droplet. Oh, I actually put him in the right spot. Obviously, as time goes on, you get more and more control over creatures. The fact that I can already just fist bump in the air with my very first guy is kind of amazing. I love that it just says, help him avoid this danger. Also, are these, these shoulder pads or, um, I'm not gonna wave at it. Grace still plays, you know what's gonna happen? This guy's like, kill, 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 kill. All right, so the hand goes, oh, somewhere here. I'm not actually super happy where it's trying to, pff, sure, whatever. Okay. I love how this has gone from help him avoid the danger to like, he's trying to hold it in. Like he really has to go to the bathroom. And she's like, if you're gonna go to the bathroom, go in the closet. No one uses that. Oh, I see. We're gonna stuff him in the closet. Get in there. Low. All right, now let's bring the leg up as, yes. As painfully as possible. Perfect. We're gonna do the figure four. Huh? Righteous distress. What? <laughs> I am so happy to see that the translations have only gotten worse over time. Create similarity. Am I trying to steal this or plagiarize it? Because I've got like the I'm here to rob you mask on. I love that you should you should have to make him stand up straight or I could just, you know, send him straight to heaven. Might not be heaven, he might just be getting abducted. Maybe like, Gray, what are you doing? This is full contact pole dancing. <laughs> Okay, so put him like this, and then, uh, yeah, arm at the side. Don't you look at me. Yeah, look to the side. Okay, right there. Okay, that was not anywhere close to where it was supposed to be, but the game's fine with it. And then you just get ready to, like, uppercut yourself, basically. Okay? See, he's not actually thinking. This is, like, self-abuse. He's trying to knock his own teeth out. Ugh! Alrighty. Like the leaning tower of stickmen over here. Yeah, that's great. Uh -oh. Help him through. Through what? Ah, yes, the latest cryptocurrency, Wiener Coin. So, am I am I grabbing it or? Okay, one one hand down there. Oh, is this like a weight? It's not a weight. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, this is like a Squid Game thing. How come this guy didn't have to do anything? I did all the work. He's like, you did a great job. I'm going to stab you in the back in three episodes. Okay, there is so many things going on here. I don't even know where to start. So we got a tennis ball. I, I guess this is a tennis court, but he's wielding a baseball bat. <laughs> I love how it's not even like a chain link vent. It's like we're in prison. <laughs> is that we play tennis in prison? The correct choice is always violent. <laughs> hey, hey, what's my bat smell like? That's oak. Uh, I don't know. Oh, is it up here? Ah, uh, okay. It, I don't know if he's gonna hit the ball or if he's gonna hit her, cause it really looks like he's aiming for her. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God. I love how happy everyone is that there's about to be a murder. He's like, I'm going to kill you. And she's like, I'm in danger. All right, now you wanna plant your feet. Okay, real, right there. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Uh, I did not expect that. I, with the type of game this is, I 100% thought he was gonna commit a felony. He got two lanes in a sidewalk and he managed to slip on the banana peel. The hero save woman. The hero speak well. Listen, make him puzzle. I want you to get with me and I will do the translations for you. They're not gonna be any better, you understand? I just wanna be the one who does this. I wanna be responsible for this. All right, the hero, it's... Time to save woman. I love how it's not the woman or a woman. It's just, it's all of the grammatically incorrect woman. All right, so we're gonna grab, I don't know where we're gonna grab this girl. Like lower back. Let us pray. All right, yeah, arm right, that kind of, oh, oh, hold on. Somewhere in the hair, right about there. This girl's like, I'm dying, please help. And this guy's like, listen, the God who controls my body isn't very fast. Give me a break. At least his sweat globule like follows him. The other guy didn't even have the piece of sweat go with him. I love how scared he is. He's like, I'm not gonna make it in time. Yay. Now, if he was a real gentleman, he'd kick that banana peel in the face. This is the most benign 
tug of war I think I've ever seen in my life. I love how they're doing tug of war with like a three foot piece of rope. This guy's like, listen, with the way the economy is right now, this is all Home Depot had in the rope section. Knock him out. What am I gonna take the rope from him and then beat him to death with it? Where does your pelvis go? Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? Whatever. This isn't so much a tug of war anymore. It's just me completely disregarding gravity. This guy's like, yeah, gravity's stupid. And that's what you get for bringing your cheap 36 inch piece of rope up in here. Take this rope home with you and be embarrassed by everyone you pass. Implement the plan. <laughs> what a fantastic way to say, ask the girl to marry you. She's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm implementing the plan. Like the very first thing that should go through this girl's head is like, I'm about to get shot, aren't I? <laughs> Where's the sniper at? See, right now he's talking into his wrist. He's like, he's like, implement plan B. She's like, what's plan B? He's like, it's plan B for BAM! Try to elbow strike her. You can almost get there too. All right, you put him there. All right, here's the ring. This is the type of guy who would put the ring in her breakfast cereal or something like that. And then she would end up eating it and choking to death. <laughs> Implement the plan. Now I could put this other hand on the ring, but instead, I'm gonna scratch my eye. See, right now he's like, will you marry me? And she's like, no. He's like, how about now? Look at my flexibility. I'm like a 22 year old Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm waving at you while my hip bone is completely dislocated. What more do you want? And she's like, someone with a stable career. All right, back down. Actually, you know what? Screw, we're not gonna do the kneeling thing. Stay standing right there. This way, if you want, you can also run away from her. You don't have to do the full kneel. Give flowers to the girl. The thing that I'm most disappointed about is how accurate this sentence kind of sounds. Like I'm just used to having amazing sentences and this one being so normal just takes the wind out of my sails. All right, so what do you, you have to grab all the flowers? Yeah, we're just gonna rip them out, aren't we? They're probably all endangered or something like that. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna, we're gonna dissect the peanut butter and jelly flowers. It's like the colors they are. Rip. She's like, you murdered nature for me. I love you. <laughs> Troll him. That's right. You think you could have cake and spaghetti at my house? I mean, what are we going to do to him? It looks like he's honestly just fine. I love how there's just a half of a microwave. <laughs> They couldn't be bothered to draw the rest of it. I'm sorry, I don't know why this is so funny. Even he thinks it's, I put him in the right spot by accident. He's like, trolled, I just cut your microwave in half. Ha 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 ha. This dude over here is like, joke's on you. I got it for half off. Ha ha. I'm assuming we're gonna like yank the chair out from under him. All right, let me, let me get the troll out of the way because just looking at this is ruining my brain. Help him exercise. So if I'm doing it for him, he's not actually exercising. Exercising. Actually, I can I can make him play the air guitar. Yeah, yeah. All right, grab the bar. I mean, they gave me they gave me what? What am I supposed to do with his legs? Oh, kind of like hanging in the air. Right, I got one leg there. Kind of river dance the other leg. Perfect. Create a throwing pose. What are we throwing? It's like a bowling ball, but it looks like we're on a like a poorly drawn baseball field? I, I'm not really sure. Probably some field for a sport that I'm just totally ignorant on, like cricket, discus, ultimate frisbee. I have no idea. I still don't know what I'm throwing. Tastes like lead. All right, now you really wanna get, you really wanna get your pelvis in this. Ah, like that. And then we're gonna take the hand, and we're gonna put it way back here because if the ball doesn't go where we want it to, we're gonna slap it. We're gonna backhand the ball. You had one job. You're supposed to get a hole in one. The ball's like, that's for golf. You'll speak when spoken to. All right, let's see. Other arm, I totally messed up where I originally put him. I guess it really doesn't matter. Put that there. Is it, is it a, I, I think it is a pitch. It's like a baseball pitch. Get low. Low. Yeah. You're gonna pitch from your knees. I don't, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, sure. Put that, put the, yeah. <laughs> Where does it go? There's no end to the storyline. Maybe he was just releasing it like a bird. He's like, you're free. There are two identical statues. No, there are not. I love that this is what you get when you make like a stick figure artist draw a person. 
To be fair, it's better than I could draw. This is the type of thing where you're abducted by some mob boss and he's like, you see two identical statues, don't you? And you're like, no. And then he hits you in the knees with a baseball bat. And you're like, I don't understand how you're trying to get the moral high ground on this. I, yeah, whatever, they're identical. Yeah, just kind of right like, you want to be in the horse stance right there, like that, up a little higher. Perfect. Look at that. Like identical twins. Let's remove stains. What happened here? What did the boyfriend like poop in the corner and then track it across the, the carpet? <laughs> to be fair, I mean, I hate context too. This totally doesn't need it. All right, I, I just start moving toward the pail. I don't know. Hold on, how low? How low can I get? About here? Yeah, low. Okay. Then the hand goes up. Can I get him lower? That's about as low as I can get. I really wanted to see if I could make him like lick it up. It doesn't look like he's gonna use the mop to clean. It looks like he's clutching it in fear. He's like, oh no, she's possessed by the devil again. Reduce the danger to him. I mean, he's driving a bicycle with no spokes and one leg. I guess it's possible his other- What does it want me to do? What is- What do you want me to drive it with my groin? Left turn. All right, whatever, yeah, go here. Oh, okay, just put your hands on the bars. Help him to the finish line. I love how it's basically Squid Game, but with a Power Ranger. It's not even like a T-1000 or something. It's like the off-brand version. This is basically... Like, if you think about cereal that comes in a bag instead of a box, this is the robot version of that. I don't... So am I supposed to, like... <laughs> What is he? D what is this? How is what I'm doing going to help him get to the finish line? All I did was just drag him away. <laughs> this is the most obnoxious pose you have to put him in. <laughs> oh, he had to just dodge out of the way of the laser eyes. Ah, yes. Help him lift weights. Oh, I'm gonna get low. Yeah, like that there. In fact, go straight through the ground. This girl isn't here to watch him, like, lift this weight. She's here to watch him get injured. We both know this. She's like, this is going on YouTube. Worst deadlift injuries. When that moment when the bar is actually thicker than your body. Ah! She's like, you did it. He's like, if you notice, there's now three different breaks in my spine. Let's hug her. This doesn't look like a hug. It looks like he's gonna, here, let's hug her. He's gonna strangle her. <laughs> yeah, let's, it's, well, that's the thing. See, all strangling is, is just hugging her throat. This is just, hold on. Now it just looks like he's gonna do some sort of jujitsu move. This doesn't make any sense. The only thing I learned is that anger leads to violence, which leads to love somehow. What a roller coaster. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Make Em Puzzles. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.